Welcome to the Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery Residency Program. My name is Dina Shanak and I'm the Residency Program Director for Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Um, we have had a long-standing tradition of plastic surgery education here at Rush University and we are excited to welcome you all. We believe in educating the plastic surgeon as a whole um, through a seven-year apprenticeship model of plastic surgery education. We have a strong program and it's evolving quickly. I think our focus is on education and resident mentorship and our goal is to to provide the highest quality education to our residents in a very diverse group of fields, uh, to prepare them for their career in plastic and reconstructive surgery. I think we're attaining that and we're extremely proud of the residents we have and the ones that have come before. We want to get them experienced in plastic and reconstructive surgery in a holistic manner uh, from head to toe, whether that be in craniofacial surgery, in breast uh, surgery, microsurgery, lower extremity genital urinary. We want to create the next leaders of uh, plastic surgery. We get trained in every different subspecialty pretty extensively, um, notably craniofacial surgery. Microsurgery program is very, very busy, um, and our gender affirmation surgery program is one of the best in the country. At Rush, I think residents will learn how to go off on their own as physicians, as plastic surgeons, and really know how to thrive. There are plenty of cases to go around between all of the residents because we have um, a very large volume, which is great because we get to operate all the time. I am very involved in both the Department of Breast Surgery as well as the Department of Plastic Surgery and kind of working together to try to improve the experiences of women undergoing breast reconstruction. We see very unique patients and patients that require a multidisciplinary care was really truly unique to the experience in Rush Plastic Surgery. The quality of the faculty is outstanding. We have recruited faculty from various top programs throughout the country. Some of the people have trained at the top cancer centers or the top trauma centers throughout the world. I would say that perhaps more than 50% of our faculty and residents are comprised of women and we are always looking to increase the diversity of our applicants uh, that we accept into our program. We spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the faculty and as a result our faculty are very uh, engaged in the education um, from conference education to OR training to clinic education. They're very easy to approach and ask questions. They care a lot about our lives, whether it's from um, a residency standpoint or a personal standpoint. And so um, they work very well to balance that as well as challenge us to grow. You'll interact with a different patient population at Cook County Hospital and uh, really treat the underserved patient population. And then we also send you out to the community to work with private practice cosmetic plastic surgeons to learn that aspect of plastic surgery. So we really try to take advantage of the wealth of knowledge and the diversity of plastic surgery in the city of Chicago. I found that Having that exposure in both environments, in addition to several other hospitals we rotate at, um, makes our training experience very well-rounded. In addition, they'll spend a year in the research lab uh, where they will have a choice of uh, performing either basic or translational research projects such as on wound healing or scarring. This is a funded research year and I think that that's a really unique opportunity. There are only a few programs in the country that um, make room for this. So it's very exciting um, that we have that opportunity to participate and help uh, advance the field. You'll be assigned to two to three attendings and you will really follow those attendings for about two months during your rotations. So that way you can see the full aspect of patient care from preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative. They want us to um, speak to the patient in pre-op. They want us to help with marking. They want us to help with developing the surgical plan um, and obviously with executing the procedure as well um, and really getting us involved in every way in a way that challenges us but helps us learn as best as possible. I thrive at Rush because of my colleagues and because of my patients. Um, residency is hard no matter where you go, but 
I feel incredibly rewarded every single day because I have supportive co-residents and they have become my dear friends. We do a lot of different events uh, between the faculty and residents. Had an ice hockey event as a resident wellness day, um, so we all toured the Black Hawk Stadium, which was really fun, and got to get on the ice and skate around. And every year we plan one to two events with the residents so that we can um, have bonding events. We also do journal clubs and visiting professors, cadaver labs. Rush has been consistently ranked one of the best hospitals in the country and in the world. Chicago is a great place to live. Uh, it's a great city, diverse backgrounds, uh, great restaurants, and uh, a great place to live and a great place to spend seven years. And I think it really helps all of us to thrive both in and outside the hospital. I love how close Rush is to everything. The opportunities are endless in terms of things to do to kind of have a good work-life balance and it's an affordable city which also um, is very important to for residents especially living on a resident salary. Rush checked all of those boxes for me. I love the city of Chicago. I love the hospital here at Rush not just um, the plastic surgery department but the entire hospital. It's a great place to work where people like I said are genuinely enjoying coming to work in the morning um, and I think as our co-resident cohort, we all get along so well and we've formed our own little family here and we all just help each other learn and grow in a way that I think is pretty unique. I think the perfect fit resident would be one that is self-motivated. They have an intrinsic desire for learning and for knowledge and they will go and seek it. Thank you so much for watching our introduction to our residency video. We're very proud of our residents and our residency program. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out via email or you can call us anytime and we look forward to meeting you in the future.